How are you today? That's good. So, what can I help you with? Oh, you're new around here? Wow, you came all the way from there? That's really far away. Would you like me to show you some of the stuff that we sell here? Okay. Well, first I have these sort of pamphlet things. Uh, these are free. You can find these around the store. Um, these are for paint, like acrylics, um, watercolor, oil paints, you know, stuff like that. We have a lot of these around the store that you can just tear off and take home. And then we have this DIY pamphlet. Um, it's just how to do DIY stuff with pencils. Um, like someone made this bear out of the tips of colored pencils and it's all colored. And then here they have um, drawers with colored pencils on them. So I'll just set these right here for you. Um, let me go over paints first. Uh, we carry these um, Craft Smart sort of just cheapy acrylic paints. These are 69 cents a bottle. They come in a wide assortment of colors. Uh, this is just black and plum. Um, these are just two that I found out of place. This is most of this stuff is just stuff I found out of place that I could use for a demo like this. Um, but these are six nine cents a bottle, and I have used these before, and they are some of the best cheap acrylic paints I've used. I painted shoes with these and they are amazing and I love them and they're just good craft paint. Um, we also have just cheap watercolors. This is $3.29 with tags. It'd probably be closer to $3.50 to $4. Um, it's just the um, cheap kids acrylic, uh, not acrylic, uh, watercolor. Sorry, it's really early in the morning. Um, but, I mean, you don't really need special watercolors just to make a good piece. Um, I made very many uh, watercolor pieces and you can't even see the bottom. So, I mean, a little goes a long way and, you know, if you can make something with something cheap, it's pretty good. For more, say, sort of, not professional, but beginner sort of real acrylic paints, not like cheap like these, um, we have the Basics, and it's from Liquitex. The smaller bottles like these come in a pack of five. Um, the pack of five is around nine or ten dollars, but considering that this big tube comes, well it doesn't come in a pack, but we have a very wide assortment of colors in these as well, and it is 118 milliliters from, of acrylic paint, and they cover very well. Um, with the smaller pack, they come with the three primaries, red, yellow, and blue, and then a black and white. And they're all this sort of little, little size. But I bought these when I was a junior in high school, and I still have them today. Um, they last a long time if you use them right, like you don't half the bottle on the palette paper. Speaking of paper, we have a large assortment of sketchbooks. Now the sketchbooks can get kind of pricey depending on the brand that you buy. This sketchbook is about $13, but it's artist quality, it's heavyweight, and it's excellent for pencil, 
charcoal, pen and ink, acrylics, pastels, and watercolors. Um, it's very thick, as you can, as you can hear. It's like cardstock, sort of. So that is the nature sketch. Sketchbook is nine by six. We also have bigger sizes, but I don't have any right now. Um, this is 50 sheets. So I guess if you're in, it's just multi, pretty much multimedia paper. We also carry the palette paper I was talking about just a few seconds ago. Um, palette paper is a paper that's waxy. It's sort of a drier side and a waxy side. Um, this can be used for acrylics and um, acrylics and oils. It could, I guess it could be used for watercolors, but watercolors might dry faster. It's just a paper that you can put your paint on so that you don't have to use a palette and have to worry about washing it off. With palette paper you can just squirt some paint on there, paint, you know, mix colors on it, do what you would with a palette, and then you just tear it off and throw it away. And it's just easier, it's more convenient. Um, it's very nice, it lasts you a while. Um, yeah, it's very nice to have if you're an avid painter. We also carry paintbrushes that we keep at the front desk so people can, you know, feel the brushes and see if they that's the kind that they want. You know, they can see the shapes and the sizes easier than if it's in a package. Um, depending on the brand that you get for paintbrushes, um, they can get a little pricey, but all of the green handled ones, they come in a pack of 10 or 12 for about 5 or 6 dollars. So we do have good deals on um, paintbrushes. Um, the smaller ones with the more silky bristles can be used for watercolors. I prefer watercolors with these kind. And if it's if you can do this and it springs back up, that's a sign of a good brush. Um, with acrylics and oils, it's nice to use these sort of white bristle brushes because they're just made to be used by acrylics and oils. So we have a whole aisle of paintbrushes, so you're, you're going to have a big assortment. <laughs> um, we also carry canvases. We carry canvas boards, or canvas panels. Um, this size is 8x10, and it's 259. They also come in bigger sizes, such as 14 by 18. Size comparison. The bigger the size, the more expensive it gets. This is seven dollars. It's bigger, so it's going to cost more. That's pretty much bottom line. Um, I'm not very fond of canvas panels. I was when I first started painting, but now that I've painted on real canvases like these. You know, the, the real canvases, I like to call them, because they're actually on, you know, canvas boards. We do have um, canvas deals. We have about 50% off on all of our canvases. Um, these are from the Fine Touch. And this is actually a two-pack. It's $5.99 for two packs. Um, for two canvases. These are 11 by 14 canvases. We do have bigger sizes and we do have smaller sizes if you prefer smaller. 
Uh, the smaller sizes I think are $3.49. The bigger sizes I think are about six or seven dollars. So it's actually not that big of a difference um, if you decide to go bigger. But if you want more than one canvas, this is the deal to go. If you just want one, we also have single canvases that you can choose from. We also carry books, like instructional books, mm -hmm. advice books. Um, this first one I have is from Annie's Attic. It's Copic Coloring Guide. I actually use Copics. They're very nice markers. They're very pricey. They're about $6.99 to $7.99 a marker, depending on where you go. Online, they are so much cheaper. They're about $5.64 online or something like that. But in these books, it just shows you different you know, elements of the markers and you know, different things you can do with them. This book was fifteen dollars but it's very helpful especially if you're a beginner um, we also have these sort of Bob Ross books um, in these kind of books it shows you his painting that he did and then on the next page it shows you some techniques he used in different parts of the painting so if you're a beginner painter, this would be a good book to have because it could show you different ways to achieve different looks in a painting. And this book was, I think, a little pricey. It doesn't say. <laughs> I know it was like at least $15. That's this book if you're looking for it. can be found in our two aisles of... Um, it could either be found in the painting section or it can be found in our book aisles. Um, we don't just have, you know, painting stuff. We also have uh, sewing advice books. This one, it's Singer, so it's going to be kind of pricey. For this book, it was $17. But it shows you all the beginning stages to learning how to sew. It shows you how to um, load your Singer sewing machine and stuff. You know, all the basics pretty much. We also carry different means of transporting your pencils and paintbrushes. This is a pencil case by Master's Touch. Um, it can carry more than it looks it can. It has a little clip right here. So you can like, clip it on your bag or something. Even easier, right? There's paper in here and sometimes it gets stuck. But inside it has like the paper to keep it round. And it's it looks deeper than it really looks on the outside. It can hold probably more than 20 pencils. So if you're big on sketching and shading and stuff, this is perfect. It can also hold, you know, maybe markers or pens or um, colored pencils, you know, all those traditional media pencils. We also carry um, bamboo brush holders. Um, it's made of bamboo strips. And it has a tassel with a string to wrap it and hold the brushes in place. It rolls up like this kind of looks. It'll be a uh, sort of a wrap, but it kind of looks like a paintbrush burrito, I guess you could call it. Um, this was $2.49, and this is $2.99, so not a bad price for something that's going to hold it. Um, it comes in this nice plastic package, so it'll stay nice by the time you get home and load it up with all your paintbrushes. 
It can hold pretty much any size of paintbrush. I mean, if it sticks out the top, it's not that big of a deal. It's still gonna hold your paintbrushes better than, you know, if you're gonna carry them by hand. We also carry these um, portfolios. These portfolios are great for bigger pieces that are done traditionally. Um, it's 11 by 17. It has this nice hard plastic cover. And it has these sheets that you would slide your painting or drawing in here and it keep it nice and flat. It wouldn't bend. Um, there are many pages in here. As you can see, it'll have a nice black background so if it's smaller it can have a black frame around it. The portfolios can get pricey depending on the size that you get or the type. This was $17. And if you like to go bigger with your traditional pieces, we do have bigger sizes than this. Um, we also have the kinds that kind of look like purses when you carry them. Um, overall, they're just nice to have. They carry a lot more. I'm pretty sure with some of ours that we carry, you can get the kind that you can add more pages to. So if you run out of room, you don't have to go buy another portfolio unless you really like to. You can just go get the refill pages. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, we have plenty more to our store. This is just what I had here. And I hope you enjoy your escapade with finding more art things. Welcome to the neighborhood. And maybe I'll see you again. Bye. Um, speaking of paper, we have Yep, someone's car's coming off. I just can't get anything done. <laughs> this is just a, 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 a jar. <laughs> Ouch. Sorry. <laughs> we also carry different means of transport, transportation, not transportation, 